Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of LHI Productions. In this video, I'm going to be working on this hot dog poker. Now, I haven't put out a video in, I think it's a month now, so I did not get on camera me cutting these, splitting these forks down the middle, but that's pretty straightforward. You just kind of punch a line down the middle and then chisel that line with your chisel and then heat it up and just split it in half. But where we're going to be beginning is I'm going to start by cutting off these forks on the top because they were just too long and I needed to cut them off. So let's jump right into that. First, I gotta bend these out so I can cut them off because I made them too long. So I'm gonna bend these out like this so that I can cut them off. And so now I'm just gonna try to start tapering this down to the point. Okay, now we gotta get another heat and take it back to round. Okay, now we're gonna work on the other one. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and set it on here. And try to form these around. working on the hook on the back because I got the forks done. I'm going to start to taper and flatten it out just to kind of, we're going to start by making kind of a shepherd's hook on the end. Alright, so we need to flatten out about seven inches of this and I think I'm almost there. And we're wanting to put a finial on the end here of this nice flat metal. The goal is this here. I made this other hot dog fork and the goal is this. Uh, it's like a shepherd took but you close it. So I made this at the Blackstone in class. So now I'm trying to copy it here. So I think we almost have enough material to do that. I'm going to measure and then we're going to jump right into making this finial and then making the hook. Okay, now we're going to move on to putting on the hook. And it doesn't matter what side you put this on because we're going to put a twist in it later. So you can put it anywhere because you can just twist it right back to where it's actually where it's supposed to be. Be sure to cool the finial before you do this and then just start to wrap it around the horn. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try to get everything rounded up. And if you wanna knock it off to where it looks a little bit more, uh, a little bit better, you can just hit it right there on the back here. And it'll make it kind of knock off and look a little bit better. So now I'm just gonna try to bring this closed. There we go. Then just make sure there's not any flat spots in here. So I'm just trying to flatten this out to make it a to make a twist up here. And it's kind of hard to get this spot hot with such a tiny fire pot. 
That's the only flaw with this forge is that the fire pot is so tiny. twist done off of camera just because I couldn't get a good angle and the vice that we have is kind of cruddy so I just couldn't get it done but I mean it's just twisting is simple so I just forged the flat and then twisted it the hook on this one on the end I think turned out a little bit better than the other one that I did at the class so I'm happy about that these forks weren't the best ones but I mean they're okay so uh, I did put some bold linseed oil on this end I didn't put it on this end because I'm not sure if it's food safe, but I did put some on this end just to keep it from rusting, and I'll probably put something on this end. I have to put something on this end to keep it from rusting, but I'm not sure what it'll be yet. So I think that that's all for this episode. I hate that I wasn't able to get me cutting it on camera. We are going to be getting right back into the rhythm of putting out videos, new videos every two weeks. So I guess I'll see you in the next one.